Well, hello, 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 everyone. This is your girl Zingaya, the Zen Libran. And welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. Woman is God. Woman, you know your God, right? You know your God on this realm, right? As above, so below. You are the God. You are the creator here in the below. Thank you so much. You know, for knowing who you are. You know what I'm saying? Thank yourself. You know what I'm saying? Know your power. Know your place. You are the ruler. Yes, you are. Don't let nobody put you on the, on the low on a totem pole. Hell, you are the totem pole. Okay? Thank you for joining me, guys, for What's the Word? What's the Word? And the zodiac sign that we're dealing with today is my Virgo. My Virgo, my Divine Feminine, my Virgo Divine Feminine. We're going to see what it word is floating around in, on, and around your energy, Divine Feminine. All right? I'm looking, I'm feeling things are going to be balanced off for you. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on what's the word, I draw three letters. They can be three vowels, three consonants, or uh, they can actually make up a word. And we look these up to see what word is that in the energy of my Virgo. Um, the English language is so cryptic. It's a spell itself, okay? Our language only consisted of consonants and uh, symbolism, you know? But when we were conquered by the the colonizer, okay, when we were conquered, we were forced to live life as the colonizer did. So we spoke their language. Um, we worshiped their gods. Um, we ate their food. You know what I'm saying? We dressed as they did. I mean, we were forced to take on the, the life of a conqueror, you know. So we've got so far away from that because it's been such a while since we've been conquered that each generation gets away from our traditions, you know. Um, so we're totally away from it, totally lost in the sauce. We're so lost in the sauce that the colonizer is using the form, the format of our language against us. Because we totally forgotten it. Because we've been living as the colonizer for so long. You know what I'm saying? Totally, totally, totally forgot it. You know? Um, so, I'm pulling these letters to enhance that third eye. Because, ladies, we are magical. And I mean magic with a K. We have the power within us to de decipher these, uh, these words to decode the spell of this English English language. We just have to tap into that frequency. Okay? All right? So let's strengthen our third eye, ladies. Let's uh, use our magic. Okay? And let's see what word is floating around in the energy of my Divine Feminine, my Virgo. Okay? All right. Let's get some letters out here and let's shovel them up. I hope y'all doing well. I hope y'all doing good out there. I'm well. And I hope you are too. I hope you're peaceful and productive and joyful. I wish that I offer you guys. No negativity here, okay? All right, what is the word? What is the word today for my Virgo? What is the word today for my Virgo? What is the word for my Virgo? What is the word? First letter I pulled is an R for my Virgo. Second letter I pulled is a Z. Third letter I pulled is an S. So the word we're dealing with today is R Z S for my Virgo. And you look at that, you'd be like, that's not a word. You know what I'm saying? That's why I want you to look these things up with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I told you, we got so far away from our traditions, from our language, 
that the colonizers are using our language against us, the format of our language against us. So they hide a lot of things behind symbolism and behind just consonants, okay? Um, on the outside, it looked like it's a b bunch of mumbo jumbo, nothing, but uh, actuality it is. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. RZS, this is the time where you go get your um, dictionary or your thesaurus. Wikipedia or Google, you know, wherever you go to for your source of knowledge, for your resource of knowledge, okay? Um, and we look at, we're going to look these up and we're going to compare the uh, definitions and we're going to get some tarot out here and we're going to see what RZS has to do with my Divine Feminine, my Virgo, and why is it in her energy, okay? Um, you don't have to look these up because I will, but I would prefer, I would love for you to look them up with me because it's so beneficial. Because if you look these up, it'll be inside your mental Rolodex. And when you're out here navigating the matrix and you see an RZS on the door or something, you won't think that's nothing. It is. You would know exactly what RZS mean and you would know what's going on behind that door. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you're revealing what's hidden. You know what I'm saying? So go get, get your resource of knowledge, and you know, look it up, and then we're going to come back and we're going to compare um, definitions, and we're going to get this tarot on top of it, okay? The word today, what's the word for my Virgo is R-Z-S. Let's look it up, guys. Let's do it. Did y'all look it up? I did. found several, several um Definitions, okay? Um, the first one I found is a, a, a security company. Um, it's called RZS Solutions. They um, have like over 40 years of experience in traffic control, fire alarms, and security systems. Um, what they do, they provide specialty products and services to a select group of customers. Interesting. I wonder who this select group. People and technology to solve problems problems hmm interesting 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 hmm is to provide unparalleled products technical assistance and services to people and companies involved with the municipal industrial governmental commercial life safety security and transportation markets Oh, mm. so they uh, provide um, security systems and traffic control and fire alarms and stuff for uh, um, the government. Mm -hmm. Yep, whatever you need to solve a problem, they got it. So I don't know if they breach. It seems like this is a little something behind the scene. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like some type of technology they have that they could use. The company is out of New York, though. Probably to breach security. That's what it sounds like to me. But that's just me, you know? Also, we got this crazy rheumatoid type of... Um, um, disease that happens to the it's a rheumatological uh disease so uh like rheumatism you know what i'm saying i mean people hand in their hands and stuff you know what i'm saying um let's see if i can pull up a picture of it give y'all a bigger picture let y'all see if y'all can see this light right here but y'all see this person's hands if you could see the hands, the hands are all messed up, you know. Some fingers are going backwards. I mean, they're like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like they can't move their hands and stuff. It's some type of rheumatoid uh, disease that affects the hands. Let me see if I get a darker picture. Let's see. I don't know, the hands look pretty bad, but this is like a pretty decent picture, but usually the hands are all pulled back, they can't move and stuff like that. It's some type of rheumatoid uh, disease of the hands and stuff. Yeah. It's a lot of other things that it stands for. I mean, you have a Spanish real estate company, RZS, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, um, so many, so many random zeros. Sphig mom, sphig You got the Royal Zoological Society. You got the red zone scoring. Okay. All right. We're finna look up. I mean, we're finna get some terror out here and see which meaning that we're gonna use. Okay. We got the disease of the hand, guys. We got a a tech company um, that does deal with the loans and security and stuff for the government, and they supply um, special services to special people. You know, the government. You know what I'm saying? So. So I'm a little shifty behind that if you ask me, you know what I'm saying? But if you just ask me, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. <laughs> mm. All right, let's get it, y'all. I mean, this, this, uh, this, uh, RZS uh, that's in patience, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's pretty bad in the hands, y'all. Ooh, my goodness. It's like all of their joints are arthritic, and they can't move it, and their hands be stuck all type of ways and stuff, you know. Wow, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get this tarot out here and see which um, definition we're going to have for RZS, for my Virgo, my divine feminine. What is it doing around in your energy? And what for? <laughs> you know? All right, let's get these tarot out here, y'all. Let's get this tarot out of here. Hey, girl, just let me love you. To provide you with the right amount of Pleasure and pain and I'll make sure that you feel alright, even if it takes me all night. All right. Okay. Come on, Tarot, what you know no good. What's the word? The word is R-Z-S, and what is it doing? Floating around in the energy of my Virgo, my divine feminine. All right. All right, we got somebody that's being cold to someone, turning their back on somebody, not giving them any love, any attention or anything, and somebody is unhappy about that. Um, this particular person is being cold to this other person because some things have been, have came out and open about this person. And um, this person turned her back on this person and she walked away. She walked away. Uh, because of what has been revealed about this person. And this masculine did not want this feminine to walk away. This person is over there exhausted and wounded from having a lot of sex. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't sit up here and contract an STD. And um, he's in financial trouble. And you don't want to be with him. <laughs> Why would you? I mean, he ain't got nothing to offer you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you don't want to be with him. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, oh. You know what I'm saying? And this this happens to be the emperor. This is the emperor. This is an emperor here, okay? And you walked away from an emperor? Why would one walk away from the emperor? Unless he was a controlling-ass narcissist. You know? Let's get a second row out here and let's see. Is RZS going to become revealed to us, okay? But uh, there's a reason why you left an emperor. You know what I'm saying? Something wasn't right about this emperor. Something wasn't right about this emperor. All right. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, honey. 
He was a blessing to this bastard. You know what I'm saying? He was a blessing to him. Yeah, this person ain't happy. You closed out this cycle with this person. You know what I'm saying? And this person wants to be uh, in a connection with you. He wants to be your lover, okay? Um, he feels that y'all was uh, spiritually connected by the divine. He thinks that y'all have a contract. You know what I'm saying? And he's not happy, you know? Um, you close the cycle and you and you you going towards something new. You're not giving him no love. You, I mean, you just don't have no feelings for him. You know what I'm saying? Um, things came out in the open about this person on how they tried to deceive you and trick you and harm you. You know what I'm saying? That's why you walked away. But this person didn't want you to walk away. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this person was sitting up here uh, attacking you spiritually you know what i'm saying attacking your psyche trying to get you to submit to him trying to manipulate you you know what i'm saying because he didn't want you to walk away Mm-hmm. yeah but you know this person got caught <laughs> got caught up out there in the streets sleeping with all these women and he done contracted something so now he's tired and wounded and he wants this relationship with you now he didn't want it at first but now he's all cold, you know, I mean, he's all caught up, you know, with the STD. You know what I'm saying? This person, um, I wouldn't trust this person. This person, um, now this person wants to come around. This person wants to come around and do a little confession. And, you know, uh, he wants to draw a truce. After he done did so many attacks on you and stuff, now he wants to be your friend. I mean, really? You know, um, this particular person is a cheater. This person is a liar. This person is a thief. This person is spying on you. This person is doing whatever he can do to sabotage you because he's pissed that you walked away from him. He's doing whatever he can do to victimize you. This person always did have a hidden agenda where you were concerned. This person wants to betray you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this person is a con artist. This is somebody that pretends to be something you want just to use you, you know what I'm saying? And then after he use you, he sneaks away. This person has some shameful secrets. He had a lot of bones in his closet. You know what I'm saying? This is a person that has some unethical behavior. You know, this is a person that pretends to be your friend just to get close to you, to arm you, you know? Uh, he's going through financial trouble right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he has had a lot of losses and a lot of failures in his life, you know? Um, But it sounds like karma to me, y'all. It sounds like karma to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you just can't go around just hurting people and think ain't nothing going to come back on you. You know what I'm saying? Now, this person is over there mourning and stuff because he lost you. You walked away from him. You know what I'm saying? This is a change that he's not welcoming at all. He feels abandoned. He feels like a failure since you separated from him. He feels that you're punishing him by not being with him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's bitter. He's having remorse for the decisions that he made. You know, this is a heartbreaking situation that you left him. I mean, this is traumatizing for him. You know what I'm saying? This is a trauma, traumatizing experience for him. But so, you know what I'm saying? Because you were a blessing to him. You were a blessing to him. And you don't want to be in no, um, in no relationship with him. You don't want to be in a relationship with him. But what does that have to do with RZS? What does that have to do with R Z S? Hmm. What does that have to do with R Z S? Girl, bye. Girl, bye. This person is in trouble with the law because this person is unhappy that you have another lover, that you are in a relationship or in a connection with someone else, okay? And you're being cold to him. You're not giving him any love. So this person is watching you. This person is watching you and your mate have sex probably. They're watching you sleep. They're watching you shower. They're watching you in your home. There's some type of way that they're seeing you. Um, and I think it's with this RZS company. It's some type of technology. 
This could be a person that works for the government or knows someone that works for the government. You know what I'm saying? And they uh, get contracted these people to do a security breach in your home. So this person is watching you, watching you and your lover. He could be watching you while you sleep. I mean, just watching you live life. And this is why this person is getting in trouble. And it, it, this is coming out in the open. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this person did all this because he didn't want you to leave him. But you had already walked away. You know what I'm saying? So I guess he was sitting up here watching you, trying to figure out how he can come back into your life or something. I don't know. But whatever it is, this company here has uh, given these guys some technology to see you while you sleep in your home, making love, whatever you're doing. These people have been watching you. And now they funky ass is in, is in, a, in trouble with the law. I tell you, Divine Feminine, we can't even go on with somebody else with a new life. You know what I'm saying? These crazy freaks, you know what I'm saying, sit behind the scene and they uh, they hire their people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they got connections and they can hire these people to uh, put, you know, they get some type of technology so they can see inside your freaking home. These people are crazy. And these companies out here that is doing this for these people, you know, it's an invasion of privacy. But you don't know that they're doing it because you never catch them. You know what I'm saying? We have no privacy here in America. Absolutely none. They can breach our privacy security at any time. And there's companies out there that, con that people contract that does this mess. They probably contracted these people to put a camera all in your vents, all in your walls. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't know. You know what I'm saying? If you live uh, somewhere, if you're renting somewhere, they probably paid your landlord some money and he let them come in there and put. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy because you have another lover and he's not happy about that. And you're keeping your legs closed to him. You don't want nothing to do with this bastard. Don't nobody care about his happiness. You know, he over there sick anyway, got a disease. So he's trying to uh, sabotage you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's sad, man. This is really, 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 really sad. This is really, 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 really sad. So you being cold to this person. You're not giving this person no love, no attention. So he got freaking cameras in your house or using some type of technology where he can see you. You and your mate. Damn, you, you got a mate, you don't want him. So what, 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 he gay or something? He up in there watching you and your man or something? I mean, what's wrong with him? You know what I'm saying? This is a straight up security breach because this is an invasion of your privacy. And if you got a landlord and he's allowing this to do, I mean, you got lawsuits out the ass. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. You can't even leave your house because as soon as you leave your house, somebody going to come and put a camera in there, you know. Sad, man. All because you don't want to be with this ugly ass dude right here. You don't want to be with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you got some money coming. You know what I'm saying? You got some income coming. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to be with him. Look at you. Look at what you got coming here. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got time for this. You know what I'm saying? And he probably wants you to give him some money. You know what I'm saying? This is a Masons. You got some Masons over there concerned about you, what you're doing. They're Actually, they're concerned about this occupation that you got. You know what I'm saying? You could be receiving a message from this dude um, this is somebody from your past. You could be receiving a message from him or something. I mean, I don't know if you care or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, um, he wants to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
This person is at a loss. This person is mourning over there. I mean, he's going through a lot. I know he's financially in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And he's not going to be with this divine feminine. She don't want his ass. You know what I'm saying? This is a mature woman. This is a mature woman. This is the empress that he feels he lost. Yeah. And he's in financial trouble over there, and he won't show help. He won't show help. Mm-hmm. He won't show help. Yep. Mm-hmm. He over there dealing with this uh, younger girl. You know what I'm saying? And she done broke his ass. <laughs> so he's coming to you for some help. No. Ain't nobody finna help you. You let that young girl break your ass. I mean, really? How old are you that you, 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 you let a young girl break you? I mean, what? Was the kitty that good? I mean, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she done sabotaged his ass. She done sat up there and gave him an STD. Mm-hmm, now he over there wounded, looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's his main male right here. That's his main male right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope he learned this lesson. This is that uh, she's a false person. He's a false person, honey. Yeah, he ain't going to tell you he had no STD. No, he trying to sabotage you, sweetheart. He don't care. That's why you, you Virgos keep their legs closed. Keep your legs closed, honey. Don't give him no. And you not, you cold to him. You ain't giving him nothing. And that's why he got probably some type of technology where he can see in your home to see what you doing. You and your man. Freaking freak. Sitting over there watching you and your man have sex. Man, I did a video about that too. So this is this is some real deal feel, y'all. These people crazy, man. These people could be Masonic Masons, and they concerned. They concerned about your career, your job. Like your job has any damn thing to do with these people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This person didn't want you to walk away. You know what I'm saying? So he's trying to get you to submit to him. You know what I'm saying? But you be expecting something. Um be expecting something because something has just end, ended and stuff and you may be receiving something from the courthouse okay you may be receiving something from the courthouse some documents or something whatever you receive you probably have to sign it or whatever um, and it's gonna whatever it is it's gonna be a happy day for you because it's gonna put you in sudden wealth okay Okay, that's why this person didn't want you to walk away. That's why this person was attacking you and wanted you to submit to him. That's why this person hired this firm over here to uh, get some technology so he could see inside your home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. Things coming out in the open about the deception, you know what I'm saying? They could be in legal trouble, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the end of this. Everything's out in the open. Everything is out in the open. You got caught, you know what I'm saying? Everything out in the open, boo, you know what I'm saying? And, and these Masons over there, they concerned. You got this older Mason, he is concerned about everything being out in the open, you know what I'm saying? About every, how the way everything went down, you know what I'm saying? He's concerned. He's concerned. He's concerned about your job. You know what I'm saying? Concerned about you moving. You know what I'm saying? I mean, psh, man. Yeah, honey, you got somebody new and he don't like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's good to you. Somebody that balances you. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's, you know, you got you a soulmate. Yeah. And he don't like that. He's unhappy, honey, but who cares? You know what I'm saying? Who cares? Who cares? This person is a narcissist. You know, this is a person that is materialistic as hell. You know what I'm saying? He's never satisfied. You know, uh, anything he get is never enough. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but he mad at you because you got somebody else. Don't nobody want to deal with no narcissist. Don't nobody want to deal with nobody like that. I'll turn my back to your ass too. You know what I'm saying? And then you got this person. I told you he was in legal uh, troubles. You know what I'm saying? He may be going to prison or he may be trapped in his head because you got somebody new. But uh, either way, he's in prison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sitting up here watching you. You know what I'm saying? They probably, yeah, probably send his ass to jail 
for sitting up here and watch you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this person got to move. This person, things is going to change for this particular person. This person probably is going to jail. Mm-hmm. For sitting up here watching you, invading your privacy in your home that he didn't got from this company, this technology. You know what I'm saying? Because you ended the cycle with his ass and you don't want nothing to do with him. So he going to invade your privacy? I mean, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something's going to come out in court about this, and this person is going to jail. Mm-hmm. This person is going to jail. Actually, this married couple is going to jail. Mm-hmm. This married couple is going to jail, honey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now he coming over there wanting to court you. You know what I'm saying? No, boo. No, boo. Maybe even want to marry you, but he's in despair over there because you're a privileged lady. You know what I'm saying? Man, ain't nobody got time for these people. You know? When you get these papers from this court, you know what I'm saying? Move. Move. Get away from around these people. You know what I'm saying? That's what Spirit wants you to do, and Spirit's going to give you enough money so that you can move, too. Get away from around these people. You know what I'm saying? They sitting up there looking in your, in your crib and stuff. You can't even, you don't even be going outside. And these person, you know what I'm saying, found a way to look inside your home. I mean, how, you know what I'm saying, violated, violated you should feel. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. It looks like this, uh... Somebody wants to give you some money. Um, this uh, dude is expected to pass from this disease that he has. This dude is expected to uh, pass in prison. Yep. Mm hmm This dude is going to go to jail, and this dude is going to pass away in prison. Mm-hmm. So he's going to go from the courthouse, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's, you know, <laughs> he's going uh, from the courthouse, he's going to jail. That's going to be his new beginning. And it's going to be the end of him. He's going to pass in um, prison. Mm hmm Yep. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if this person is leaving you some money, Divine Feminine. Yeah, he could have uh, be leaving you some money um, in his will. That's what I'm seeing out here. You know, because he's uh, he's going to pass in prison. Yep. Right after he leaves court and they put his ass in jail, that's the end for him. I don't know how he's going to pass, but I don't think he's going to make it. You know what I'm saying? He's going he's gonna to pass in prison. And um, and I think that he's leaving you some money. Okay. Yeah. That's sad. You know, say I hate to be for people to pass like that, but he guys this incurable S T D. Um I don't know if he's gonna have access to get his medicine in prison. I don't know, honey. I don't know. You know. So let's pull some um Messages from the north. I'm gonna pull a, like three of these because I'm I'm curious to see what I'm gonna pull out of here in regards to this here. You know, so. Ooh, Rosemary's baby. So we got a demon here. <laughs> we got a demon here, y'all. Ooh, we. Rosemary's baby. Ooh, we. What the hell is that about? Mm, mm, mm. This dude was a demon, y'all. This dude is a demon. I mean, he's uh, the demon spawn. His mama is uh, a demon. So he acts just like his mom. Goodness gracious. Mm, mm. This is a person that marries on a whim. Mm -hmm. Just have no sanctity of marriage. So I like her. Let's get married. I like her. Let's get married. You know, I know a guy like that. You know what I'm saying? He just, every time you look around, he didn't marry somebody. 
you know, people like that are, are afraid to be alone. You know what I'm saying? And then if you got a lot, you have a man that's had a lot of marriages, that's not good. You know what I'm saying? You you see that people leaving his ass, right? Or he leaving people, regardless what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's not committal. You know what I'm saying? And people are breaking up with his ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You need to cleanse your energy because this person is all around in your energy. This person is demonic. This person is a demon. Okay. Um, I just heard part reptilian. I just heard that. I just heard that. So you know what's up with that rosemary baby for real. You know what I'm saying? So be careful. And uh, keep your legs closed. Conserve your sexual energy because this person has an STD. And um, I don't think it's a curable one. Okay, and he definitely wants to come and sleep with you so that he can sabotage you. Okay, so uh, stay away from this person. Okay, don't let this person nowhere around you because he means you no good. Okay, all right. Well, this is what I got for my Virgo, and what's in the energy of my Virgo is Aussie. Yes, it's a company that uh. Deals with traffic control, fire alarms, uh, any security system that give out technology to a certain class of people, you know, certain group of people, you know what I'm saying about that, the elite, I want to say, uh, they give them technology to take care of any problem that they need. So you didn't want to be with this person. So this person went to this company and contracted them and, and they gave him some technology so he could see inside your home because you were being cold to him. You had somebody else, and he's sitting up here watching your home, watching you have sex with your mate, watching you shower, watching you walk around naked, just living your life. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So he can see when he can slide in and uh, sabotage you with this disease that he got. You know, but um, this person is in some legal problems. He's in and out of court, and uh, he's going to jail. He's going to jail. You know, and uh, he's going to pass in jail. And it looks like he has uh, probably left you some money. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, mm. or he wants you to give him some money. You know what I'm saying? But he's expected to pass in prison. Mm-hmm. Tell you, boy, you're going to reap what you sow. You're going to reap what you sow. And this person is reaping. Stay in your Virgo mode, your hermit mode, and do what Virgos do. They keep their lids closed. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they keep them closed, too. You know. Man. Ladies, if you're not in no um, committed relationship, you know what I'm saying? Practice abstinence till you meet someone and you research this person. And you know what's up with them. You know what I'm saying? We all grown. You know, do your thug fizzle then. But just be careful, man, because these people out here, they trying to sabotage the divine feminine because we have this sacred energy. And they trying to give us diseases. You know what I'm saying? So those hot girl days for us are over, honey. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no hot girl uh, summers for us. We grown ass women. You know what I'm saying? We keep, it, we, we, we keep it hot. You know what I'm saying? We keep it warm. You know what I'm saying? But we keep it warm at the crib. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. That's what emperors do. Empresses do. All right. I love you, ladies. And this is the word for my Virgo, RZS, the security company that uh, for the elite, you know what I'm saying, um, that uh, it's a governmental agency that uh, gives technology and stuff to the elite to to solve any problem that they have. You know what I'm saying? Security, fire alarm, traffic control. They even control the traffic. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> all right child i love y'all and be careful you know what i'm saying I always be ready so you don't have to get ready all right divine feminines i love y'all and i'll see y'all on the next what's the word y'all be easy okay bye bye